This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 5, verse 9, and it reads, And salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into a secret chamber, and shall be sought of many, and yet not found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon the earth. All praise is all power. All glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world everyone calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahawashai. Meaning he is the deliverer. He saves. Bahashem in the name. Rakaha Kodash. Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles. And elders of great millstone. Who teach well and rule well. Who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation. To the Akyam. The fellow laborers. The hopeful elect. Pushing this truth at risk of their own eyes throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathiam listen and listen and learn in sincerity and the truth and the silence, Shalawam. Akiam meaning brothers, Akwathiam meaning sisters, Shalawam meaning peace be unto you. And right, we'll get right into it. This news article on Forbes. Forbes News. Elon Musk limits number of posts Twitter users can read per day. Right, and this is going into the family of the word, man. Right, limiting the posts a number of Twitter users can read per day. Right, and a lot of news goes out via Twitter. A lot of news. A lot of the articles I get through the Spirit and Power Yahweh Shem Yashai comes off of uh, Twitter. Right. Now, it's a social media app, and it's been a number of years since I've posted on Twitter, a number of years. But I still, I still read, the, I still get uh, uh, alerts in the news feeds of news articles, right? This is going into the family of the word, man. Let's read. Elon Musk announced new limits on the number of posts Twitter users will be able to read each day in an effort to fight what he calls extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation. The announcement from the billionaire owner of Twitter comes just a day after the social media platform decided to make it impossible for anyone without a Twitter account to read tweets. Right, so now you're gonna now you're gonna make it impossible. If you don't if you don't have a Twitter account, you can't read the tweets. You can still read tweets on Twitter and not be not be a, a member of the platform. Not have an account. Musk explained that verified Twitter users will be limited to reading 6,000 posts per day. Regular, loser, regular users will be limited to reading 600 posts per day. And newly created accounts will be limited to reading 300 posts per day. It should be noted that while Musk is using the term verified, Twitter doesn't actually verify the identity of anyone with a blue check mark. Since he took over the company back in October. Must started charging eight dollars per month for anyone to be able to get a blue check mark, a system that has been that's, that has seen misinformation spread more rapidly on the platform. It's not immediately clear how many posts the average Twitter user reads per day, but some user complained. But some users complained about already hitting the limits on Saturday. It appears that third-party apps and TweetDeck are still allowing unverified users to view more than six hundred posts per day, at least for now. It's also not clear whether this new policy has anything to do with Twitter's recent decision to just stop paying Google for its cloud-based services. The news outlet Platformer reported on June 10th that there was a mad dash within Twitter to transfer data away from Google onto other providers that keep the site working. Twitter's contract with Google reportedly expired on June 30th, which was yesterday. Musk has previously said he wanted Twitter to become a space where people spend the most unregretted user minutes online, a metric that's not typically measured in the world of social media advertising. 
Many Twitter users were not happy with Musk's announcement about limiting the number of tweets any given user can read in a day. I scroll through about 100 posts on my timeline per minute. If he keeps this, it will literally end Twitter, one user complained. It's a social media app selling ads based on impressions and time spent on the app that is going to make people use the app less. Unreal, another user pointed out. This is nuts, yet another user tweeted. Media commentator Jay Rosen speculated that Twitter Blue, the official name for getting a blue checkmark at $8 a month, was underperforming and this might be a way to get more subscribers. Other users joked about Twitter giving out tweet, ra tweet rations like in a communist dictatorship. Some users joked about how this new move by Musk would allow them to break their addiction. Break the addiction of Twitter. Your addiction is about to be broken. We will all be free. See you guys at the park, one user tweeted. Musk himself replied to that user with touch grass again. Yeah, that's enough on that. All right here. But the decision could have a very real... Yeah, this is the point. But the decision could have a very real impact on the delivery of breaking news. As a meteorologist in, in Indiana explained, the state currently has an extreme weather warning and getting out vital information will be hindered by this move. The user even shared a screenshot of himself trying to access the National Weather Service account for Indianapolis, which simply displayed a notice that reads, rate limit exceeded. Right, you see that? These devils. Listen, this is all going to go into the family of the word, man. Right? Right? Twitter rations. Right? Because they don't want news. These devils don't want news coming out. And there's a lot of news. And they don't want this truth going out, man. And the truth is going out. But the famine of the word is coming. Second Ezra 5 verse 9. And salt water shall be found in the sweet. Right? Water contamination. And all friends shall destroy one another. Right? The love of many waxing cold. Right? Egyptian versus Egyptian. Right? Friends destroying one another. Then shall wit hide itself. Wit. Understanding. Right? Amos 8 and 11. And understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber. And who are those that have the understanding? The elect on this side. Right? So when the famine of the word comes, guess what? Verse 10. And shall be sought of many. Right? Many people are going to be looking for this truth. The understanding. And yet not be found. They ain't going to find it. Right? Now's the time. Right? Ecclesiastes 12 verse uh, 1, 2, first and second verse. Now's the time. Seek ye, uh, return to thy, thy creator in thy youth. While the sun is not darkened. Roughly paraphrasing. Meaning while you, could, while you can receive this knowledge. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon the earth. Right, and we're in that time where unrighteousness and incontinency. You look at this word incontinency; it's uh, uh, un unable to hold back, uh, no self restraint. Right. And shall be sought of. Salak. Incontinence. Adverb. Late 14th century. Wanting self-restraint. Right? Immoderate. Intemperate. Not holding back. Originally chiefly of sexual appetites. General sense of unable to retain. Right? And that's, that's the vibration that's out here, man. People can't, can't bridle their lusts. Right? It's do as thou wilt vibration out here, man. Right? Multiplied upon the earth. Right? It's everywhere. Verse 11. One land shall also seek. Salakia. 
one land shall also, Salakia, one land also shall ask another and say, Is righteousness that maketh a man righteous gone through thee? Right? People looking for answers, seeking the truth. Is righteousness here? And it shall say, No. Right? The famine in the word, man. The Lord's about to lock off access to this truth. Isaiah 24 verse 10. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Right? The city of confusion. The Hebrew word for confusion, confusion is Babel, Babel, Babylon, America. Right? Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Right? Lockdowns, 50-minute cities. Verse 11, there is crying for wine in the streets, crying for wine. People want answers. Same way when the famine word, when the famine word touches, people, people are going to want to seek the truth in that day, but they're, they're not going to be able to find it, man. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. The mirth of the land is gone, right? And we're in that time. Uh, Zephaniah, let's close. Now is the time to return to the Lord. Zephaniah 2, verse 3. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth, Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. Return to your power. Yahweh Bashim Shai. Right? Israelites being a people before a place. You so called indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called Negro, and speckled bird. Which have wrought his judgment, right? The Israelites are under the curses, wrought his judgment. No other nations under the curses. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, right? You're, you're supposed to return to the Lord now before it's too late. When the famine of the word hits, Amos 8 and 11, all bets are off. You're out there, no covering. It may be ye shall be hid, right? So you seek the Lord now. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai's anger. Right? So with that, I pray you're edified. Call Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who teach one and rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect.